Hello everyone, Arash Jafarzadeh here, and we have a series of lessons coming up that will help you develop a game from scratch in ActionScript 2.0. Uh, we've been learning a lot about object-oriented programming languages, and even though ActionScript is not exactly an object-oriented programming language, a lot of those key concepts are there, and I think it's a really great way to get started if you're interested in coding and developing a game because it's a great stepping stone to other programming languages that are object-oriented, that are you know, fully object-oriented programming languages like Java or Objective-C or C++. So uh, it's a wonderful way to get started. I've been getting a lot of requests to start posting these things online. I've been, I usually develop these lessons for my students at the school, but uh, hopefully the community at large can enjoy them as well and uh, have some fun. So uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about some of the benefits of learning how to uh, code with ActionScript or any programming language. And one of the, the key things that I share with my students is when you're learning to code, uh, you're learning how to be a good problem solver. And uh, coding and uh, developing a game in this case is all about breaking down a problem to get some end result. Uh, I, I like to make uh, examples of old Nintendo games. And in this case, I'll make the example of Super Mario Brothers, one of the uh, classic platforming games that uh, that's still is, is very fun to play to this day. When I want, when I'm thinking about how to make Mario move left and right or up or down, or how do I make Mario jump on an enemy? How do I make him, you know, uh, save the princess, whatever it is. I have all these problems, these, these questions, how do I do these things? And I have to find a solution for them. And that process of finding that solution is really beneficial with anything I think you do in your life because you know uh, in your life you get presented with problems all the time and you want to be creative and figure out great ways to to uh, work those problems out and coding is a really great way to get practice on that uh, there's a lot of logic as well and you have to have a good understanding of how logic works uh, once you have those basics once you understand those rules and fundamentals of the language uh, you're just trying to figure out creative ways to tell the computer to do what you want it to do. Uh, for example, you know, uh, one of the key things that we're going to learn are conditionals. Uh, if the player presses the right arrow key, I want Mario to move right. That's basically what I'm saying. But how do I tell the computer to do that? Well, you need to know your math. If you can visualize your computer screen, think of it as a big X and Y axis, a big coordinate plane. And I want to make Mario be able to move left and right, let's say, on the x-axis. Well, to do that, I have Mario's starting position, wherever that is. And if I add to Mario's starting position, he'll start moving to the right on the x-axis. And if I subtract from his current position, he'll start moving left. The same thing with the uh, y-axis. And later on, we're going to talk about how the y-axis looks on your uh, in a programming language because it's flipped. But... Uh, Right off the bat, just to make your character move left and right, you have to know basic arithmetic, basic math, how to move something on the x and y axis, adding and subtracting. And then it gets even more complex as you go on. The other really great thing about a programming language, in addition to helping you with your math, it can be a really great way to learn and understand physics. And uh, think about it. You know, you have your Mario character in his little world, and you're essentially designing your own world from scratch. Uh, there is gravity in this world. He has to be able to fall down when he jumps up. He has to be able to stop at the floor so he doesn't fall through the floor. Uh, when his head hits a block, he can't go through the block. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice while Mario's walking is he accelerates and then he eventually decelerates as he moves. Uh, there's a lot of really key uh, concepts that relate to physics and you have to program this world from scratch you're creating a world from scratch in this programming language so it could be a really great way to uh, to learn about uh, programming uh, excuse me it's, it could be a really great way to uh, learn about physics firsthand and just see that visually is, is really really fun so and like I just said uh, coding can be very fun it's uh, it's just really great uh, a great experience as long as you understand those key concepts and that's that's what I want to leave you off with is as I'm going through these lessons I need something from you I need you to 
not be a copycat. I don't want you to just look at the lesson and copy what I'm saying, write down uh, word for word. I want you to try to really understand the concepts that are being covered in the lesson. So that way you can create your own game and be successful and maybe think of some things that uh, go beyond what we're covering in the lesson. So really try your best to cover uh, to understand the uh, basics. And if you have any questions as we go through these lessons, uh, feel free to contact me. My students, you all know how to contact me, but even the community at large, I'd be happy to hear from you and, and help out wherever I can. So uh, let's, uh, let's get started with the lessons. Um, my students will have access to the files, of course, and uh, the community at large, I'll, I'll be posting those on my website as well. Uh, so I'll add those in the uh, description area below and I uh, hope you enjoy it.